The moment you have all been waiting for. Welcome everyone to season eight preseason. This is do taking care of everything before moving on to the new season eight uh, opener in Bahrain. So we're going to do all the logistics, show off the car delivery, the re car reveal pretty much, and then also sign a new partner in crime and also i guess that's it pretty much choose a new engine supplier etc etc this is going to be the setup for season eight so welcome to the video and let's see what we have in store for the next season before we continue though i just want to make sure you guys are subscribed make sure that red subscribe button down below is pressed hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next season eight is right around the corner in two days i'll be uploading the first episode the bahrain opener of season eight my team and hopefully you will enjoy Enjoy that too so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on the whole series thank you guys so much for your support and let's move on with today's preseason video of course the big question is will michael schumacher stay with the team and at this time we have put on arabs race suit because we don't want to give off or give away the next race suit for the season eight car because i'll show that later when we have the livery in as well so let's go to driver market now, there have been no retirements, no driver switches, etc. right now. So I decided to go for someone already at a team to shuffle things up. So who else other than a young prospect who is now probably in his prime, Lando Norris. We're going to try and sign him and bring the Quadrant team as well to the Sulit Racing team. So let's approach. Let's see if Lando Norris is willing to sign. Yes, he is. Of course, we will negotiate with him and we will just splash the cash. Let's start the negotiations. All right. Well, that was pretty cheap. 19.5 million, apparently. And his market value is 28 million. So I'll take that. I will take that. I guess I have to pay more than that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. We paid a total of 28.5, which is not too bad of a deal, I think. So let's confirm and move on. We are a super rich team anyway. We have over 100 mil and now we have 91 mil to our name. So that's good. Of course, fully maxed out car and no regulation changes, meaning that we keep every single upgrade on the car. So does everyone else. So we are going to be in an interesting position. Hopefully we can secure both titles again this season. Uh, and hopefully we can do it sooner than we originally did. No. And here we go. We are finishing the season. Season 7 is over. We have secured both titles as we've seen in the previous video. Level 23 for me. Level 24 for Mr. Lando Norris. Almost level 30 acclaim for the team, which is good. Um, hopefully we can extend that further. Prize money of another 28.12 million from the F1 or the FIA and then some sponsor bonuses 145 million we are overkill right now so overkill uh, with money uh, drivers and constructors secured so that is a good site that is that's it yeah that's it season seven's over and we are moving on to season eight with Lando Norris let's see if he can do well I really need a second driver who can really uh, drive on par with me so first thing to do is to add uh, tracks right now so I think I'm gonna do China this time around maybe I'll remove Abu Dhabi for this one it's a track that I don't fancy too much so we'll add China we'll go 23 race season of course and have a season ender in Saudi Arabia which will be interesting um, now I don't know if I can swap positions of these tracks I don't think so so I'm just gonna go 23 race season we love these full length full length seasons so driver of course I have a new helmet by the way so yeah this is my new helmet design I think I might edit it a little bit before going on to the first race uh, weekend but yeah that I think looks pretty nice a new helmet design uh, so it looks clean so I really like it I think it'll serve us well. Uh, new race suit as well, um, which will reflect 
the new car. As you can see, I s got a new race suit. Uh, shoes looking fire, by the way. I think I did well with the shoes to try and match that in. So we got SpaceX as our main sponsor, which you'll see on the livery as well. Back to the Adidas uh, race suit. And we have Quadrant on the race suit as well because of Lando Norris. Of course, the cap as well has Quadrant on it. And uh, we've kind of remodeled it a little. Of course, you can see more details on the glove here. SpaceX as well as Suelito Racing. Elon Musk came through with the funds. Thank you very much. Of course, this is make-believe. Now, team details. This is the most important thing. Uh, we need to see what, who our engine supplier is. I think people have had more successes with Mercedes engines. So I think we will sign with them. I I mean, I've had the least number of... Uh, DNFs with Mercedes I think Ferrari did pretty well in the previous season despite me slating them in like season 4 or 5 I think when I signed with Ferrari they were absolute trash uh, Renault I've only used once so I am kind of leaning towards using Renault this time but hmm. now nah, we'll stick with Mercedes or this one I want Mercedes in our car so we are going for the Mercedes power unit Lando Norris of course uh, and seven even as our main sponsor, which won't mean anything. So that is confirmed. Those are our team details. Livery I'll bring in soon so that we can have the whole car reveal thing. And team branding will stay the same. As reigning champion, you're entitled to use driver number one this season. Would you like to switch to driver number one? I mean, yes, I've been using it since season five finisher. So I will happily take driver number one. And there we go. Our car is under the tarp. Uh, activities we will fill in in a moment. But uh, yeah, I will check and see if any changes have happened in the uh, driver market here. Mainly because I signed Lando Norris. Let me take a quick look and look at the driver market and sort by team here. I want things to have changed. Let's see. Latifi and Isla still at Alfa Romeo. Sonoda and Russell still at Alfa Terry together. Stroll and Ocon. Is that still the same? Yeah, I believe so. Schwartzman, Matsushita coming into Aston Martin. Interesting. Because Pierre Gasly was there. Matsushita signs for Aston Martin. Leclerc and Sainz still at Ferrari. Mazepin and Aiken still at Haas. And Gasly and Raikkonen are at McLaren. Gasly has moved from Aston Martin um, with a better race seat, to be honest. Good for him. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, Antonio Giovinazzi, still at Mercedes, Perez and Verstappen still at Red Bull. And then Norris is with us with Williams having Joe and Lungard, two youngsters, or rather now they should be professionals, are doing well there. So yeah, it's good. Forcing that move with Norris was good, I think. We've got some new drivers up. Uh, Masushita in uh, at Aston Martin uh, but sadly not too many driver switches I wonder if there's going to be an exodus of old drivers leaving the sport after this season for example I feel like Sainz could possibly retire possibly Raikkonen and Hamilton could retire that would be or Verstappen and Perez could retire possibly I just want to see some driver movements I want to see some of these youngsters in F2 in the current season that I mean have a chance at driving in F1. That'll be cool to see. But that is how it looks right now. And let's move on closer to car reveal day. And here we go with the car reveal. I had to take a couple of, uh, it's the next day pretty much. I had to take some time to edit some stuff. But here we go. Car reveal time. Let's see what the car looks like for this season. Now, I got to say, this livery does look fire. Um, yeah, I, I had a bit of problem coming up with this design, but I think it came out very well. Uh, we got the highlight green from the Team Quadrant, of course, Lando Norris's brand. We also got the Quadrant logos at the front, and then I added the Mercedes-Benz logo on the, on the side of the headrest. That looks pretty cool as well. Of course, our main sponsor is going to be SpaceX this time around. Castrol is, again, our official fuel sponsor, and we are continuing to support Team C's in Mr. Beast's effort to clean the oceans. Of course, the donation time has ended, but I think you can still donate on their website. So if you guys want to go on over to teamseas.org, I believe, uh, link will be in the comments. You can donate uh, to clean the ocean. 
do a little th- good thing for the world. We are again sponsored by Samsung for technological、uh, uses or services. Then we got Quadrant on the front wing, s u e l i t e Racing on the side、uh, end plates of the front wing. Adidas, our main sportswear sponsor, as well as the EQ Power, of, of course, Mercedes being that、uh, main sponsor for the engine, the powertrain. So, Elite Racing logo in the front as well. And yeah, we got Quadrant on the rear wing,、uh, AMG as well, and Castrol there as well.、So、if you guys take a look at the car livery on the top of the halo, we got Netflix for all the drama that's going to happen this season. And we also have Hublot as our luxury sponsor. Our channel logo is also on the front part of the halo. Oh, yeah, also I got Lando Norris's name and my name on the side of the cockpit as well, just to、uh, brand ourselves a little bigger, I guess. And of course, my socials are on the halo as well, so follow me on Twitch. I live stream there almost daily now, and Twitter. Follow me there for updates and such. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this livery down below. I think it looks pretty clean. And I went for a little darker theme this time around because I want the highlight green to pop, as well as、um, the fact that I kind of miss the 2018 Haas. If you guys remember the 2018 Haas with, I think, Grosjean and Magnussen in the team. Uh, they had that kind of darker livery on their car, and I kind of liked it. and I felt a little bad seeing it disappear.、Uh, they went for the white livery, of course, in the later seasons,、uh, as Nikita Mazepin also came through. And、uh, yeah, but anyway, and hopefully it can take us to victory this season as well.、Uh, hopefully we can. Really knock the records out of the park with this livery. And we've arrived at the Bahrain Grand Prix weekend. I don't think there's anything else that I will touch on in this episode, but here we are with Lando Norris, our second driver for this season. And I think we're in for a good chance of winning both the constructors and the drivers' championships. So we'll see how well Lando fares at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Thank you guys so much for watching the preseason video. This will be a start to a great season, hopefully. If you guys enjoyed, Enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Also, show me your support for the team, the livery, the race suit, whatever. Let me know what you guys think down below. Subscribe using the red button as well. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future My Team videos on the channel. We're going to be posting regularly, so you don't want to miss out when the next episode goes up. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully, we can have a great season ahead. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the Opener in Bahrain. Take care until then.